All right, all right, no need to shout. Now I know what you're after, I can see about getting some in. Speaking of which, I brought one for later. Can I leave it with you? You can, eh? I'm nice like that. In return, you can thank Tomes for me. The bloody know-it-all. I was just on my way to see him. Were you able to... We were indeed, Lawsman. You pointed us in exactly the right direction. And Torgal's been a very happy hound ever since. Very good, very good. Lady Karen sends her thanks, by the way, for your part in solving the mystery. Ah. But that reminds me. After your last visit, I found myself pondering Torgal's talents. Do you recall our conversation concerning Lady Jill's role in Torgal's transformation? About how she somehow woke the power within him. Precisely that. A reasonable conclusion, I thought. But one which raised certain questions in my mind. You see, the Fenrir of legend served Shiva and Shiva alone. And while the powers attributed to him are certainly impressive, the records imply they are somewhat different in nature to those you described Torgal as having used. What are you suggesting? that Torgal may be the beneficiary of more than one icon's power. Consider that in addition to Lady Jill, he has served as a loyal companion to you, your brother, and even the late Sid. In short, the icons hitherto near at hand, or should I say at poor, have been diverse and plenty, and that number has only grown as the realm's dominance have fallen to your sword. One can but speculate as to how all of this has affected Torgal. He has seemed more... fierce of late. And if I am not mistaken, he will grow fiercer still. We are fortunate indeed to be able to count him amongst our allies and not our adversaries. <laughs> oh. He's more than an ally. He's a friend. <laughs> 